Hey, how's it going friends? Uh, today I'm gonna do not really a mic shootout, but I'm gonna be testing the Cinco D2, uh, S-Y-N-C-O D2 mic, which is a shotgun microphone. It's right here. I'm gonna take the little wind muff off of it. Sorry if that was a, an annoying sound, it probably was. But uh, I have that right here, and I'm gonna be testing it against my usual on camera mic, uh, sometimes off camera mic, the video micro, the Rode video micro, and the giant Squid Audio Labs lapel mic, lav mic, lapel mic. And uh, that this is really uh, an isolating mic even though it's omnidirectional. My thing is even though I'm at the desk and I have this acoustical foam right here to the left of me and off to the right over there, this usually presents problems when I do tutorials or voiceovers or something. So I usually put another one of these across the desk and put the keyboard and mouse on top. So I'm gonna be testing this without any of that. I just wanna see how directional this mic is. Uh, and I'm gonna be comparing it with the other two mics because they uh, definitely have a tendency of picking up a lot of the room. Even though I love the video micro, it's nice and compact. Uh, for stuff like this in studio, I'm definitely excited about this mic here. So check this out. So I'm currently using the Cinco D2 mic to record this voiceover. And I'm just going to go over the specs with uh, some shots of the mic. As I said, it's a shotgun mic with high sensitivity, hypercardioid pattern with a great pickup. It has extremely low self noise and rejects pretty much everything behind it to a certain extent. It has a really flat frequency response and uh, I'm gonna throw the chart up here just to show you. Uh, compared to a lot of the mics I have, there's no dip in the mids or low mids and no peaks. Uh, it's, it's pretty flat. As gold-plated XLR connector, it does use 48 volts, so it's gonna need a phantom power supply. And it comes with a mic holder with 5 8 inch connector and adapter for 3 8 But it can easily be adapted to quarter inch if you wanna use it on a tripod or anything like that. So what I'm gonna be doing is reading the first section of the uh, Caring for Your Cinco D2 mic uh, instructions. Please keep the product in a dry, clean, dust-free environment. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot swap these mics uh, and cut out the pops so you don't have to deal with it. So I have the Rode Video Micro here and I already have the lav mic on. So here we go. This is the Cinco D2. Please keep the product in a dry, clean, dust-free environment. Woohoo! Rode Video Micro. Please keep the product in a dry, clean, dust free environment. Woohoo! Giant Squid Audio Labs Lav Mic. Please keep the product in a dry, clean, dust free environment. Woohoo! So, me throwing a woohoo at the end of all three tests was for two reasons. Uh, seeing how much level it handles because I woohooed really loud and seeing how much it echoed in the room. This next test is just for the Cinco D2 and I'm going to clap and that's not for no, so, so much for how much SPLs it can handle but how much echo because a clap is really loud and that's how I sync audio 100% of the time. So I'm going to clap and then we'll listen to that. Now I'm gonna go behind it. Again, it's right here. I'm gonna go behind it, clapping. While I'm clapping, go behind it and see if it rejects a lot of it. Uh, it being the only sound, you're definitely gonna hear the clap, but how loud? So here we go. I am now directly behind the mic. 
and uh, I'm hoping at least you can hear me, uh, but I'm also hoping it has a really good rejection of the sounds behind it. Also for this test, I decided to use my LED lights without the fan, so I didn't use the HY2000 uh, because it has a fan and I feel like it'd be unfair uh, even though I did think about it because if this rejects the fan noise, that's a great perk for me. I don't have to use any noise reduction plugins. Let me know what you thought in the comments. This is a $199 mic as, as this video is being filmed. I'm going to put the link in the description as usual. And I'm going to put the link in for the other two because I really, really do like this lab mic. And I like to wear a black shirt so you can't really see it as well. Uh, unless lights reflecting on it like it is now uh, I'm looking in the uh, the LCD monitor here So being that I do actually do a lot of in-studio stuff for myself and for clients This is probably my best option uh, because it just picks up You know what you want it to pick up and not so much the external noises and not what's going on behind it because I'm behind the camera if I do this far away hopefully I don't know why I'm doing this, but hopefully it doesn't pick it up and it picks up the voice. Being as big as it is, it's not as convenient if you're trying to use it on a gimbal or a tripod outside. You know, it's not that convenient unless you have a very small on camera or attachable 48 volt power supply. But I am probably going to do that because uh, I do like the sound a little bit better than my usual. Rode Video Micro. I use this a lot for run and gun stuff and because it's so small, it's it's my main my main go-to mic. I do have a lot of other mics, but the majority of them require phantom power. Uh, I'm thinking about getting the Ceramonic to attach to the top of my camera and it has a, a little mic holder, so that's real, real convenient. My only issue is when I use a wide angle, this big honking thing might show up. So that's something to consider too. If you do a lot of in-studio stuff in the house or you know indoors and you don't mind wires everywhere, you know, it, it's not that bad, but if you don't mind kind of you know having everything separate, your your mic, your camera, your lights, you know, kind of having them separate or powered separately, uh, it is inconvenient outside the studio, but inside the studio, you're getting a lot a lot, a lot better quality. So please subscribe and tell your friends if you haven't already. And remember, create, share, repeat, and keep it awesome. I'll see you next time.